Okay, here's uh, the extreme update, I guess. Uh, June, I guess. I put this up here. Cut this out into the yard so they could have somewhere to go into. And if you can follow me, you see that our grass is overgrown now. Oh, I put a gate right here so I could just come right off the porch. You can see how the fence is really visible because of aiming and being blind. There's my horses over there. Anyways, um, since my last video, I have gotten a new horse. Her name is Zoe. And I'll show you when I get up there. So anyways, I opened all this up so they can come down into here. And if you walk around this way. The house is right there behind this tree, so um, you can see them from all around now. But I opened all this, so I'm going to take these posts out so that these aren't here. Um, horses come in here just fine as it is, but this is all open in the front yard so that we can come out the front door. You see them? And the grass is coming in really well. The winter, we didn't really have any. All of this whole area right here was a big, giant, like, pond. It's pretty bad. But, gave the horses something to drink out of because we didn't want to drink out of their water troughs. Anyways, so if we come over here, you'll see that original area that we put in um, to begin with when it was just for Gemini, and he was here by himself. Uh, he came right up to where the hot box is over here. Um, all of this is unfenced, so they can get up into the, the yard where the house is. So anyways, um, where the box is right here. Uh, it went straight back and into those trees, and all he had was just this little area over to where the corner is and back. And then we opened it up when Eamon got here and made it so he could come into the shelter. And then Jim and I. And I'll show you what I did with the shelter this time. All three horses come in here together, they don't mind as long as. Nobody's being pushy. If it's raining, then they don't care. Um, this was all just nothing but tarp to begin with. And this was wide open. This was the only cover there was. And we put all of this in right here. There's the gate. Um, Zoe eats here now. Eamon eats right there. And Gemini eats over where the arena is. But... Here are my three horses. You can see that they've pretty much eaten a path around the fence over there. Yes, I have three white horses. They're all gray right now because they've been rolling. They have greasy fly sprays, so when they roll, it sticks. Here's Eamon. Anyways. Okay. So anyways, yeah. Um. That... Over there goes all the way into the arena, and I'll walk over there in a minute, but I just want to show we put all of this fence. Here's my Gemini. Yes, he's very skinny because of this winter. Um, he lost a lot of weight, and he's taking his time gaining it back, but the other two are just fine. Anyways... Here's the arena. They can get into here. Gemini comes over here every day and he'll eat over here. He's probably going to follow me. <laughs> Anyways, Gemini eats over here. You can see where his two dishes are. He's got three in here, actually. <laughs> it's Gemini, Zoe, Eamon. Alright, if we continue going this way. Sorry, I'm out of breath. It's 
very hot today here in Maryland. So, if you continue this way, you can see we still have a lot of green grass out here. Um, I opened up this area back here. This pasture's gotten a lot bigger. But I opened up this area back here that originally had a gate right here. So I'm assuming the guy that owned this place had this divided into two pastures. And this was where the second pasture began. But I opened this up because... Here, if I show you... Eh, let's make this a kind of long video, I guess. Might as well take a tour. If you follow around this way... And I'm not sure if there's going to be any sticker bush, but... Um, if you continue along this fence line... And I cut along these trees right here. Just make sure there's a lot of clearance. I could totally turn this into a nice little path for um, training or just warm up or whatever. I mean, you continue. There's sticker bushes right here, and I'm wearing sandals. <laughs> continue, continue, continue. It's a nice, like, I wouldn't necessarily say like endurance or cross country, but more or less like. A good warm-up area for someone who can handle this kind of work. And now all of this right here. See this tree? Um, I'll probably knock this little tree out right here and take out a ton of these stumps, but I'm going to leave that big one like right there. <laughs> I'm going to spray paint that white. I'm going to make it so that you can, so it's, it's jumpable. If you come through here, if we take out this tree right here, this can be jumpable, but if not, then I can take this out. I'm not planning on jumping anytime soon. I haven't done it in a while, but here's another way to turn to go towards that one log I said I can keep. Or you can continue on through here after I trim back the trees. I'm going to trim all this back. This is all new. Continue through here. I'll remove this, obviously, because, or just move it because they don't go through it anyway. But yeah, if you look, it's like the perfect little, like, endurance warm-up area. Cross-country or anything like that, you know? And then, or hunting. Like, hunter. Who knows? Anyways, yeah. And that is basically it. I mean, other than that, like, where I have that one shelter up the opposite side. It has an identical um, overhang right there you can see. I'm going to turn that one into a, a, a I guess a run-in as well, but I'm going to make it so they can go straight through it. So it's going to completely connect to the arena and I guess I'm going to stop calling it arena here soon because that's all it's like not anymore. <laughs> Anyways, thanks for watching, and have a good day.